Hey, how you doing? Um, I have like a mishmash video for tonight. Um, first I want to clean my face because it's grungy from the day, you know, as one becomes a grunge. This shall remove it. Um, oh, I felt like, ew, there's a hair. Okay. Um, I was just talking to you. I'm glad you had a good weekend with your guy. Can we call him your boyfriend? I think we can at this point. I feel like that's safe. You have a boyfriend. I love that. I like that you have a guy that's nice to you. You deserve that. And doesn't play games or pull crap. Homie don't have time for that. Buff this massive chin. Um, <clears throat> as you know, today is the annual celebration of my 19th birthday. <laughs> and it's, you know, it was a nice day. Colin made it really nice and cute, and you guys did too. You sent me, like, cards and gifts. It was... Really, really nice. I've got good people in my life. But yeah, it was another COVID birthday, so... Unfortunately, I couldn't see you or my other friends or family. Which sucks. That would have been, like, the best present ever. But soon enough, the vaccines are here, so... Thank God for that. Okay, we're clean. Next part of the mishmash video, okay, so this is just a random thing. So I hate all face sunscreen because they make me super greasy and they hurt like a mother if you get them in your eyes. And I don't like that they're like white and bleh. They're just gross. I hate them. And I know I'm supposed to wear one to protect myself from the agingness. I think we're a little late for that, but I've just always hated them. So lately, since I've been watching skincare videos, um... All the derms say that you're supposed to wear sunscreen every day. Like, it's the best thing you can do. I was like, fine. So I remembered our dear friend Oksana had one. This is my hair. When we were... Is that literally just a gray hair? Okay. And we're done. Um, our dear friend Oksana, while we were over there having dinner, was telling us about her new face sunscreen that she loved. So I texted her and bought this tiny thing. Look how big this is. It's a travel size. Super goop. Unseen sunscreen. Travel size. This stupid thing was $17, Nicole. So I was like, you know what? If this stuff isn't made of like liquid gold and doesn't wipe my ass for me, I am not buying this again. So everybody raves about it. They're like, oh, you can't see it. You can't feel it. Blah, blah, blah. So I put it on. You cannot see it, which is awesome. Love that. Didn't make me greasy. However, it feels very silicone-y, which I don't like. It feels like slippery on my skin. I'm not into it. So I like the way it looks. I don't like how it feels. And I feel like it takes a while for that like slippery feeling to go away. So I don't think I'm going to buy this again after I use this up. Um, I'm just going to continue not wearing sunscreen on my face unless I'm at the beach. And then I suck it up and just use the body one on it, which is so fucking gross. So gross. Okay, next step in our mishmash. I, confession time, I have a lot of peach fuzz on my face. Like, it's literally like little chicken hairs. You can't see them unless, like, the light hits. Wait, yes, you absolutely can. The light hits them right. The fuzzies. Anyway, I just have one of those, like, chicken fuzzy faces. So, packaging time. So, I got these, like, dermaplaning. Hold on. About face fuzz-free fold-and-go groomers. It just says groomers. I think they're, I think it's called dermaplaning. I think. And you do, these are terrifying. I'm high as a kite, and I'm about to wield a knife to my face, so pray for me. Let's close this back up. Eh. Somehow I can see Danny Kitten getting into that and like somehow dragging like a razor across the house. I'm going to tuck those away, come to think of it. Better safe. 
Okay. I have something in my eyeball. Oh, it's like, uh, I feel like this happened in another video too. Why am I? Colin says I'm like Kelso from that 70s show. Like, my eye. He's kind of right. No, it still feels like it's there. Oh my god, why? Why is this my life? Ah! Promise I'll stop in a sec. Okay. No, it's still in there, but that's okay. So. This is so scary. I wonder... Can you use it in either direction? And after I like shave my fuzz off, if it grows back, is it going to be darker because the sun hasn't hit it? Okay, well, we're committed to this. Um, I need to look in the actual mirror, not my phone. <gasps> Are you supposed to... I didn't feel like does it only work in one direction? Hold on. Ooh. Are you supposed to do this on like wet skin? This is attractive. Do you like this angle? It's nice. Is this doing anything? No. Is there like a guard? I'm touching it. Why am I touching it? Oh my god, I'm gonna cut myself. It doesn't even feel sharp. How do you work? It's a, it's a horrible sound. You want to listen? Oh, it's, it's literally doing nothing. One last try. Hey, Laura, try not to cut your ear off. Nothing. These suck. I'm going to throw it away. It didn't do jack shit. Okay, on to the next. So, my cousin, for my birthday, my cousin sent me an Ulta gift card. Fun. So, I went online and I was thinking, I was like, what are some, like, holy grail products that I just have never tried? And I was thinking, like, Dior Show Mascara. Because, like, that was, like, all the rage a few years ago. So, I wanted to get, like, a tiny tube of it, but I don't think... I don't think Ulta carries Dior makeup. I could be mistaken. I'm not sure. I didn't see it on the website. So I was like, what's another like iconic makeup that like everyone was crazy about? And I was like, NARS Orgasm Blush. Boop. It was the exact same amount as the gift card. So I was like, oh, that's a sign. We're getting it. So it's pretty, I peaked. I had to. So... Isn't that nice? I know it's hard to tell. That's a good shot. It's like a little shimmery. It's like peach and gold kind of. So I'm not going to put foundation on or anything. I'm going to bed soon, but let's just give a little swirl. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Oh, that looks really pigmented. That's a lot. Let's do it here. Ooh. That's really pretty. Ooh, I love that shimmer. You know what's funny? It actually kind of looks like my Laura Geller one that I'm obsessed with. It's like very similar. Which means it's a hit. Yeah, I can I can see why people love this. I bet with foundation on it would look really nice. You see how the light like catches? Love. Love. So if and when this virus ever goes away and we're able to, you know, like go out in public and see humans, that will be fun to do my makeup with all these fun new things. And okay, so the last thing, this is awful. I feel stupid for even. The last thing, Vegamore, 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 Grow Hair Serum one fluid ounce. So it's about like as much um, like liquid as you would get in a typical um, like liquid foundation bottle. But this shit oh, was like scary expensive. And I believe it's only like a month supply. And I think it says right on the site that you probably won't see full results for three months. So it's like, oh, you want me to spend how much? 
to see if this works? Like, how, what? Why wouldn't you at least... It's the packaging again. I was going to open this before I got high. And then I was like, no, it'll be funnier. Just wait. And it is, it's so funny. <laughs> Am I getting it? Ugh. Oh, schnitzel. Hold on. Oh, crap. No, I have to get that because Dan will eat it. Dan likes to eat things that aren't for the eating, aren't the edible. She eats lint balls off the rug. She eats little pieces of paper from her scratchy board, which... I realize she probably has pica, but it's so cute. She a chunky little kitty, you know what I mean? But because of that, we have to be careful what shit we leave laying around. Whereas before, we would just be slobs because Elf doesn't eat lint. So this is my hair. <laughs> so I was very fortunate to be able to get my first dose of the vaccine. And yes, I'm aware of what I look like right now. I'm just going to soldier through. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to get the first dose of vaccine. And I was like, what's the first thing I want to do after my second vaccines kicked in like two weeks after the second dose? I was like, the first thing I want to do is hug my dad for like an awkwardly long amount of time until he tells me to stop. Um, cause I haven't had dad hugs in forever and it's awful. Um, and then the second thing I want to do, like even before seeing friends and family, no offense, I need to get my hair done. This is not a highlight. That's, that's gray. This needs to, yeah. So we've got like natural with like chunks of gray. We've got brassy from where I did the bleach bath and then just like fried. So I need a full foil. Bad, bad. But anyway, so I've been concerned about my hair now for a while because I know I have a lot of hair. Like, I get it. I still have a good amount of hair. But where I was before to now, I have easily lost a third of my hair in the past, I'd say, like, five years. And I'm guessing it's because of my anxiety and from, like, stress from work and stuff. I don't even know how much of this to put on my head because it doesn't fucking say on the butt. There's no instructions, nothing. Which for, like, this little tiny thing, I want to say it was, like, almost 60 bucks. And again, they want you to buy it like three times to see if you get your full results. So I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to use, but I guess just a dropper full. I don't even know how to do this. I guess you just like rub it on your scalp. Do you put the dropper like on your head? Anyway, this on the site claims that it can or will, I know it's, that makes a big difference. Um, can or will... I'll try it like this. Ugh. Oh my god, it's so runny. Ah! Can or will... Ew, it's wet. Increase... Oh my god, it's running down my face. I'm never buying this again. Increase the thickness of your hair, like the, your actual hair growth, by 50%. And reduce shedding by 75%. This is so wet. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you see this? It doesn't feel greasy, but I, how do you do this without making an absolute... Uh, it's really drippy. I don't like this. And you're supposed to do this every day? Mm. Another concerning thing is, um, this was an emotional impulse purchase. And then I did like a little bit of research after the fact. So I went on the YouTubes. Oh! <gasps> I went on the YouTubes and looked up reviews from people who've tried this. And the first and only one I watched, because it made me sad, was um, this girl who's apparently much more intelligent than I am, because she like caught on from the get-go that it was a scam. She goes, um, yeah, uh, you know it's a problem when you buy a product... Okay, now my hair feels kind of gross. I hate this. So you know it's a problem when you buy a product from an online company... Uh, and ah it's dripping it's dripping and they have oh my god only four and five star reviews she's like there were 700 something reviews total and she said um none of them zero were like a one two or three and she's like that's that's how i know that they're shady because she's like even the best companies that everyone loves 
even they will have the occasional like one or two star review because of like shipping went wrong or people are just you know people are assholes and this company has none and they're all four and five star reviews so she made a good point that like she calls bullshit and so do I I don't know why I'm doing this My hair feels wet. It doesn't feel like sticky. It doesn't really feel greasy. I wonder if this will just. <laughs> what? Why do I do these things to myself? I wonder if it'll dry down and then like you won't know it's there. Did I do this side? I don't know. Do it again. It's not like this shit's expensive or anything. <gasps> it's dripping in my ear. It's dripping in my ear. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hate every I hate every aspect of this. <sighs> but you know what? Shame on me for getting suckered into this. I I think it was like fifty five bucks or sixty bucks. Like shame on me. I think I should know better. Well, I doesn't have money to just throw around. Okay, I'm gonna get the back a tiny bit, Ugh. and then we're gonna call this quits. Like, I will use this as atonement for being stupid enough to buy it. Like, I will make myself use this. But, I sincerely doubt this shit does anything. Like, this is really expensive snake oil. And me having to deal with this nonsense every night till it's gone will be my punishment that I've earned for being an idiot. What did P.T. Barnum say? Didn't he say there's a sucker born every minute? doesn't doesn't smell bad but I like heavily heavily regret this I hate I hate this I hate every aspect of this good it feels nice I'm just gonna brush this mess and go to bed goodbye <laughs>